94 to 88 comeback victory for OCU. We're here with Avery Jackson, who led the way for the Stars today. 20, 26 points today. After some of the games that you've had this season, now two in a row that that were just really good. You had the game winner against Panhandle State last week, and now this performance today. What's 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 working for you now? Um, I would just say being aggressive. I know that me myself, I haven't been as aggressive as I probably should be in the games that we've lost, and I've taken that upon myself to be more aggressive, and my team definitely needs it. So I'm glad we could get the dub today as a team effort. It wasn't just me. Clayton had his best performance ever, <laughs> um, and that's our second-ranked upset. So we just got to keep this momentum going for the last five games of the year. Yeah, what were the keys coming in? I know one of them was rebounding. You guys got the got the edge in rebounding 47-37 to 37 today, and Clayton had a big tip in to give you guys a two-possession lead. That was part of that too. But uh, So what were some of the other keys to today? Um, making sure they don't get open shots. Sagru's a really, really good coach, a uh, really well coached team, really good individually. So just making sure they don't get their open shots out of their sets and stuff. Talking on defense was a big one. We didn't do much of that. Um, <laughs> but making sure that we just get them out of their stuff and force them to play one-on-one -on -one basketball. You know, what's the challenge playing a team like that that they can put a lot of shooters on the floor at the same time? Yeah, we can't take everything away. We have to give something up, and that's usually just an open three or a post up. So we just have to take away their main forces. Yeah, and they ran a few different defensive looks at you guys, too, and you're switching out on top. And Larry Hall, I know he's a great defender, and he was guarding you and YG, uh, uh, kind of switching off. So what do they challenge you with defensively? Um, they're, they're, the way they play defense, their gap help. So they don't, for, they don't let you go back to the other side of the ball. Once you're on one side, they try and keep it there, and they try to limit your offense that way so you can't move the ball and get them working. So that's really hard to deal with when you have to try and force the attack to the same side corner. What's the attitude of this team right now? Uh, we're really confident. Uh, we, we were hyped to try and get back uh, to our hometown. It's been a week. We had that long Wayland panhandle trip. So attitude right now is just keep going. We're not satisfied yet. And this is, this is a big one. This one's got to feel pretty special. 18-point deficit in the second half. Come back, have to play overtime, but still get the win in overtime. This mm -hmm. one's got to feel great for you. Oh, it feels amazing. Amazing. We're just glad we can get the dub. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we'll let you pass the headset off to uh, to Clayton here. We'll talk to him, too. But thanks to Avery Jackson for joining us post game. 26 points for him. Six of ten made threes today for Avery. So uh, great game for Avery Jackson. We'll uh, we'll say goodbye to him. We'll say hello to Clayton Jewell here in just a second. 94-88, to 88, the final score. OCU gets the come-from-behind win over Sagu today. And now we've got... Clayton Jewell with his Clayton. Wow. 19 points, 13 rebounds today. What's going well for you now? Honestly, I, I couldn't even tell you. Um, I feel like all together as a team, that was a great performance. Everyone stuck in, you know, bought into the, what we were trying to do. Everyone went to the glass. Everyone was pushing him on defense. I, it was a great game to play. Out-rebounded Sagu 47-37 to 37 in the game. What was the battle like in the paint today? It was rough. <laughs> all right, like some points over there, I was at the point of like, oh, I need to get to the bench. But – I'm glad I pushed through because that the win feels really good right now. Tell us about your tip-in that you had to uh, to increase the deficit there at the end. Honestly, I didn't know if it was going to go in or not. I just went, yep, do it, and it went in, and I'm extremely happy about it. You also had a foul line jumper late in the game that uh, I think was your last basket. Tell me about your confidence to take that shot in that moment. Well, see, for the last stretch of four games, I feel like I've been missing a lot in that area. But coaches keep telling me, you know, push your confidence. You're going to make that shot. Just keep shooting it. And then I listened and it worked. What do you think the attitude of this team is right now? Right now, we want to get in the tournament. Not even just eighth place. We want to push it as far as we can. Because possibly, we know we had a lot of losses where it was, you know, two, three point. We know what we can do. We know we can push some teams to the limits, see what can happen. You know this is a big-time opponent coming in, down 18 in the second half. What are you guys thinking when you fall down by 18 points just three minutes into the second half? Just keep your heads up. Keep a strong attitude. Work together as a team. Push. Be physical. Physicality is what wins us games. Now, uh, this one's got to feel good now two in a row for you guys. So a uh, uh, little bit of a turnaround here in the second half of the season, yeah? Yeah, I'm excited. Hopefully we keep pushing this, see what happens on Saturday at Tex Wiz. All right, 19 and 13 for Clayton Jewell. And a 94-88 to 88 win for OCU here over Sagu. We'll take a timeout, come back, and talk to head coach Mark Barakoff in just a second. It's OCUsports.com, Sooner Athletic Conference Network.